Okay, boys and girls, today we are talking about the best outdoor Victorinox money can buy. Let's jump right into this. Okay, so a few months ago I did a video talking about my favorite or ultimate survival Swiss Army knife. And in that video, I talked about the Victorinox Huntsman and explained why I liked the Huntsman so much for survival purposes and for the outdoors in general. Now, a few of my more informed and more enlightened subscribers told me about the Victorinox Ranger and told me I had to check this little guy out. So that is exactly what I did. And today we're talking about about the Victorinox Ranger and moreover why I think that the Victorinox Ranger is probably the best outdoor driven multi-tool that you can get in Victorinox's lineup. So let's jump into why I think that is. So for those unfamiliar with the Ranger like I was, essentially what the Ranger is is basically an upgraded version of the Huntsman. It really has the whole tool set of the Huntsman plus a couple extra tools that I think are actually pretty darn handy. Now, when I did my original video on the Huntsman, what I was saying is that, or the reason why I loved this or thought this to be the ultimate survival uh, Victorinox or Swiss Army knife was that it had the most amount of tools that would be the, of the most use to you in a survival or outdoor situation. So you have a saw, you have a main blade, you have a smaller blade, if I can get it out with gloves on, uh, you have a smaller blade, you also have a pair of scissors, can opener, and turning to the back you have a all if I can get this guy out, you have an awl, you have a kind of pot hanger or just bale hanging or bale wire, you know, grabber, it can do a lot of different things. You also have a uh, cork corkscrew, which as I talked about in the last video, is very useful for more than just bottles of wine. And so you have a lot of tools in this little guy that can do a great number of outdoor tasks, especially camp life tasks. So the Ranger keeps all of those tools. Of course, like I said, you still have your saw, you still have your main blade, you still have your secondary pen blade, you know, all the great stuff that you've come to know and love about the Huntsman is still there, still present on the Ranger. They have not taken anything out, and that's really great. Uh, I, I loved the tool set of the Huntsman for that reason. The primary things that they did to the Ranger to make it, in my opinion, a little bit better is they added a file. If I can get this guy out, <laughs> it's a little bit hard with these gloves on, but they added a file, dual-sided, with a little bit of a saw on the bottom for uh, file work like that and of course you can use this in many different ways of course there is the traditional figure care but you can also use this thing for keeping an edge or uh, kind of bring an edge back on tools you can also use this file for different outdoor tasks and while the file isn't necessarily my favorite it is usable in quite a few ways outdoors but the thing that I really like about this blade is or this tool I should say and why I and something that I'm kind of surprised that isn't on more blades or more Victorinoxes is back here it's a little hard to access I think I actually have to take my glove off for this one but it is this little guy right here so as I throw my glove back on here this right here is a little chisel, and a chisel is an incredibly useful little tool for outdoors. You can use this, of course, naturally if you want to play down a little bit of wood, but where this really comes into play is trying to dig deep and create notches. Notch work is something that is very important in camp life and building structures, and while this is not the greatest or largest chisel, you know, whether you're trying to make dovetail jointery or you're trying to uh, kind of bore holes in small objects. This little chisel is very, very useful for those tasks. In fact, this tool in and of itself is quite a good uh, dovetail maker because what you can do is you have your chisel in mind and then you take out your saw. You can create one part of your dovetail with your saw and then when you're creating the actual dovetail opening itself, you can use the chisel. So, 
what a so this little guy is incredibly useful now of course this tool does retain the same uh, all the same corkscrew and the same bailing uh the same bailing kind of hook if i can get it out of this one it's a little bit tricky but you know you have all of those original tools from the huntsman which are also very useful and lastly you are also given on the back of this tool um i believe so you're also given on the back of this tool a micro or very fine bit flathead screwdriver. Now, personally for me, that's not particularly useful, but I will gladly take that if I get to have my little chisel and get to do work with this little guy here. So, you know, like a lot of Victorinoxes, I could sit here and make an hour long video describing how useful all of the tools are, or what all you can do with these tools, but ultimately, I think that the Ranger just opens up more ability around the camp around the camp for you to build and create things. And so I think that the Victorinox Ranger really is the ultimate outdoor Victorinox because it still retains the size and I will say somewhat small size. I don't think that this is the smallest Victorinox. It definitely is not. It's definitely not the smallest Victorinox, but it's also definitely not the largest Victorinox is out there. And so I would say this is a somewhat small tool. And for the amount of capability that you get, and really you're not adding that much more width. If you look, the Huntsman is on the top or has this kind of green cord on it. Uh, this one has the tan cord. You can see that it is noticeably thicker, but it's really not that much noticeably thicker. And most importantly, when it's in your hand, say when you have the main blade out and you're cutting, you know, you can feel the thickness, but it's really not that bad to hold or use. And so, of course, anytime a tool is thicker, it will be more awkward to use, but this is not beyond the realm of most standard knives in handle thickness. So definitely not a bad tool. And definitely this is the tool that I will be transitioning to over the Huntsman. I still think the Huntsman is a very great tool, and if you're looking to find, you know, a good, reasonably compact, you know, uh, outdoor Victorinox that has everything you need and nothing you don't, I would say the Huntsman is definitely that, but if you can spring for a Ranger, I think that the additional added features and added usability that the Ranger brings to bear makes it the superior tool, and once again, the micro flathead and the file may not be the most useful though they certainly do have uses out in the wilderness the addition of the chisel makes this thing really a nice little workhorse for doing crafting and camp tasks certainly so anyways that is the ranger i am very thankful for awesome subscribers that recommended this tool to me because I've picked it up, checked it out. I really do enjoy the little Victorinox Ranger, and like I said, it will definitely be replacing my Huntsman as the ultimate or best outdoors Victorinox you can get. So that is all I have to say about the little Victorinox Ranger, definitely check one out, especially if you can find them. Like I found this one on eBay for actually cheaper than what this Huntsman, uh, or what I bought this Huntsman for. So definitely pretty good. And of course, this one was used, but honestly, it really looks like it was only carried. So like, I was pretty impressed when I pulled this thing out of the box because I went to check some, like the five, or I went to check the saw teeth and I was like, dang, those saw teeth look brand new. Went to check the blade, blade looks brand new doesn't even look used so aside from this thing being a little bit roughed up on the plastic handles it looks pretty amazing so anyways guys definitely check out the ranger and if you can't find a good ranger definitely check out the huntsman as always guys god bless and i'm out